these guys at Brazil uses data and uh, information about the aircraft and, and the routes which they, they, they travel to be able to analyze that information, be able to use models and predictive capabilities to say what, how could we do it better, how could we operate the aircraft to use less fuel or arrive on time, uh, how would the customer or the passengers benefit from better operations. Green Skies of Brazil is a result of a partnership that we established with the GRC, that's within GE, and then externally uh, we added other stakeholders like uh, the airlines, the association of the airlines, the general aviation, uh, the government, the airspace provider, the SEA, as well as the regulator, ANAC, and we're bringing all these partners together under the Brazil ATM Joint Research, and that platform led us to create what it is today, the Green Skies of Brazil. Both Niskayuna and Rio have contributed to the Green Skies of Brazil project in two key areas. The first was building a computer model of the gate-to-gate -gate operations of airlines and airspace in the southeastern portion of Brazil, including five major airports, some of the busiest airports. The second major part that GRC is doing is in big data analytics. It's all about having better asset utilization through the integration of analytical and physical. This year we had more focus on some specific tools. So specifically for the, the SEA R&P procedures, we wanted to now measure, quantify the benefits for the customers, for the airlines. By reduced fuel consumption and lower CO2 emissions, which will benefit the general population as well, as well as providing more predictable and better on-time performance from the operators. As we're going to be a more efficient airline, we're going to reduce our costs, we're going to have a more competitive product for our customers. We are making benefits for the country, for our customers and for operation also.